Hi everyone. So I'm coming to you today with my little buddy Carlos, my kissing king Pomeranian. This is what he lives to do. He just wants to kiss. So clearly sustained this injury. Uh, yes, farming injuries can be pretty scary. Um, a lot of it is about having the right gear, like the right footwear or bug spray or you know, winter hunting clothes, summer hunting clothes, lightweight hunting clothes, layered hunting clothes. That was enough hunting for one sentence. <laughs> um, but, uh, you know, just knowing, okay, if it's this tall, I need it to go this far in the ground and that's going to take this much weight and I can put this much pound per square inch. A lot of logistics and the silliest thing happened. Um, it's funny, uh, studies, whoever the they that are them say, I don't know who they are up there, but anyway, um, yeah, yeah, anyway, that's always been a joke of mine. Who are the they that are the them that say? But um, study, whatever study it was, I don't know if it was even a university thing, said that like the average dog home has one to three dogs. And being as I have um, several more than that, um, I, uh, I think it's so funny when I get the question where people are like, how do you know all of your dogs barks individually? And I'm like, that's silly to me because how would I not? Like, Maccabee warns me he only barks if there's trouble, trouble, trouble. He was my first toy poodle, you know, the first one to get wifeys and everything. And what I started on for, I think I get three, my first three years were toy poodles strictly. Um, and you know, just like my Yorkie Theo, he's got that high pitch voice and I know he's trying to defend his wifey, Kelsey, my toy poodle against whatever it may be. Um, and we just, I, or we, I just know all their barks. So yeah, last night it was, I mean, I was sleeping and we were due for rain all week, but I hadn't had any yet. And I had my headphones in, I was just all but passed out. And I heard three of my standards, which are a little bit more than waist high. And I'm, hi Carlos. Yeah, we're both gimpers today cause he's got the broke foot, but he's healing really well. He's a champ. Um, so I heard three barks that shouldn't be that direction to my head. They should be that direction to my head. And so of course I just, in the pouring rain, you know, put my headlamp on and run outside in my knee high rubber boots, which were not the right equipment, you know, fault number one. And then my puppies thinking, or dogs, cause they're not puppies, they are old enough to breed. So my children, um, they thought, oh my gosh, it's, you know, one-on-one -on -one mommy puppy playtime. And somehow I was getting the first one back into their um, playpen with the doggy door to our, uh, my home. No, no, ma'am. Sorry. Um, <laughs> uh, yeah, she's really pregnant, so sometimes she's cranky. Um, they get that way. It's nature. Uh, so anyway, I got the one back in, you know, the playpen with the brain coverage and everything for safety. And she could have just gone right back in the doggy door. But... Um, I'm not sure if it was my uh, female standard poodle or my male golden doodle. It happened so fast, but like right at my knees, they just whoop and just both knees went whoop and I went like that to the ground. So pretty bad, like instantly I knew that I hurt the right side of my neck pretty like pretty badly. Um, I didn't move. I, it was pouring cats and dogs and it was 64 degrees, which doesn't sound cold. But on the grass and everything, it was pretty, just not pleasant. I've lived through much worse. But um, anyway, just, yeah, so I laid there just in the rain. Like, I'm not going to move because I was afraid that, like, I'd break my neck or something. And I couldn't, like, Google, what do I, you know, look for as signs and symptoms if I have a concussion? Because I also hit the back of my head, too. So I basically was like, okay, there's a lawnmower. 10 feet away. It's got a tarp on it for the rain. If I can drag myself with the one good arm, lay that tarp out, lay on the tarp rather than the grass. And it was perfect because the lawnmower wheel, I just perfectly propped my head up against it and just made sure that, you know, until safety arrived and everything and I wasn't alone um, and confident to, you know, go ahead and move. Um, 
that uh, I didn't. So um, that was, you know, a blessing. It's always, you know, super blessing when you have, you know, a resource and network um, of breeders and friends and neighbors and family that's, you know, willing to, when your silly butt runs out in the rain at, you know, 2.30 in the morning after your puppies, which isn't silly because it's for their safety um, and protection and everything. And um, so that, you know, their standards so that they didn't, breed, they can breed through fences, that they didn't breed a toy. That would have been really, really bad. Um, so it was to prevent, you know, several bad things from happening and just, you know, protect my little YouTubers. Sorry. Um, anyway, so long story short, yes, farm injuries can be, um, kind of terrifying but just like little Carlos's right paw which is healing he broke the medial phalange on his first two fingers not his dew claw not these two but his first two fingers the medial one is this one so but the vet said no pain meds because then hey no ma'am no no sorry they're like all inside right now so um Anyway, this is going super long. My point was, um, the vet said he didn't need pay. Brooklyn! Thank you, ma'am. I'm sorry. Again. Um, he said no pain meds because then he might go, oh, I feel better, and end up hurting himself more. So he's not even, obviously, clearly in a splint or a cast. Um, this is my day brace. I don't know if we can even see the brand. I can't see my... Kelsey, stop. No, ma'am. You're fine. Carlos can be up here. This is my Lolo. Okay. Anyway, if you could see that brand, whatever, um, it's from the hospital. My insurance paid very handsomely, I'm sure, because I had like seven CT scans and I don't know, like 23 x-rays or something. Um, and, uh, but I'm able to be unmedicated as well. Um, which is awesome, you know, so I'm here to take care of the babies. And we've got, instead of carrying buckets, we've got water hoses run to all of their water dishes. 